In Oxford, um, it's quite different to other medical courses in that it's essay based. So we have a lot of kind of factual things that we need to learn as well. But um, in general, for every tutorial, you'll be expected to write an essay. And that can often be like on something that you've just done in the tutorial or in preparation for the tutorial. So on in an average week, you might have two to three essays to write. Because Oxford is a research university, the reason why they do essays is to prepare you for writing research papers. If you've gone through three years of having to write 10 essays a term, you, you get really good at reading fast and writing and sort of putting an opinion across and I think that's something that really sets you up for like doing research in the future. These are actually quite different to humanities essays like we can put kind of diagrams and things like that in them as well so you might be thinking oh my gosh like essays I haven't written one of those in like two to three years but it's honestly fine everyone is in the same kind of boat when they arrive and um, because most people have done like science subjects before they come in but actually it's really easy to kind of get into the swing of things. Yeah but don't worry because you've done sciences, you've been a little bit out of practice writing essays because we'll get used to it. Yeah. And even the people who did like say English or history as an A-level, it's such a different kind of essay mm -hmm. that you're still kind of learning with everyone else. They really do help you understand a certain topic in a lot more depth and detail, which is pretty great because ultimately you want to kind of know what you're talking about as opposed to just like rote learning things for the exam. Well, I got through my whole A-level without really reading anything. I mean, I, I, I had a textbook. <laughs> But I never sat there and like read three or four chapters, whereas the first week I got into Oxford we were given an essay and for the first time in ages I actually sat and read a hundred pages of textbook. I've never done that before. The way you study is so different and it does take some time to get used to it. I think it's quite good that medicine does essay writing because if you want to do research in the future then it's really good to have that practice. Some essays you're doing to prepare for the tutorial. So you're not expected to have got everything in there because then there'd be no point going to the tutorial. It's to get a a basic knowledge of the subject so that the tutor can then work on that and go to a more advanced level. Yeah. I think one thing that Oxford really focuses on is making you ask why things happen, not just accepting them for fact. So having experimental evidence is really important in essays and also you get extra marks for that. It's about not just reading a textbook and then sort of paraphrasing that, but actually thinking about why things happen and then like finding experiments. You end up being like the very stereotypical student with like four different textbooks because you're like, well it wasn't in that one so I'm looking yeah. for it somewhere else because you actually are interested in something that you're writing about because you found something exciting and it might be like a really particular small part of the subject that no one else would have even found but you find it interesting. And also if you have like a controversial idea or opinion you should put it in the essay because t tutors love that. I think in first year I missed a few lectures in, in the first term, not because I was like sleeping or having fun, just because I was doing essay work oh, yeah. and I thought that it's more important to do essay work than go to the lecture, but I found that later on, basically the lecture condenses maybe 10 hours of reading that you might do um, into one hour, so my advice would be actually go to the lectures for medicine because it saves you a lot of time in the long run. And although, yes, you have essays to do and they have deadlines, but it's not worth missing lectures for. Yeah, the lectures can be really useful for writing the essays if you manage to match it up, right, and end up doing an essay on something you've recently had a lecture on. So I wrote an essay the day before yesterday on the neuromuscular junction, and then I had a lecture on the neuromuscular junction today and realised that there was quite a lot of stuff not in my essay that should have been in my essay. <laughs> And I managed to add those things in um, before I had to hand it in to my tutorial, where I discovered there was even more stuff I'd not put in my essay that shouldn't be in there. I mean, there's always a way in medicine, like, there's so much that you can learn, like, so much you can put in your essay, and you're never going to put everything in. Mm. So it's, like, about picking and choosing. So I've definitely done essays, like, where I've done the essay and then gone back to, like, read through a review paper or, like, a textbook, and it has, like, the most beautifully worded paragraphs on my essay topic, <laughs> and I'm just like, oh... You can never fit everything in um, to a particular essay just because there's so much to cover. But in general, it's about kind of an overview and then the specifics that you want to include. So one of the kind of myths maybe about Oxford is that you have to handwrite all of your essays. But everyone who I know who does medicine doesn't have to handwrite all of their essays. But in general, they're quite happy for you to type. Often, I think they prefer if you type because you can work to a particular like page count. Yeah, but don't worry. If you've got really bad handwriting like mine, and a lot of people who apparently go into medicine because that's the stereotype about doctors. I have great handwriting. I don't know what I, I, feel like my I have such bad handwriting. <laughs> mine is awful. Like really, really bad. And that means you're going to be a good doctor. <laughs> that is, that's definitely how it works. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.